it is funny is, and I, I think, I feel like that's the world right now is people are adjusting. They're being, being forced to get out of their comfort zones, being forced. Uh, if you, if you think about, it, it's like the old world of, of going paperless, right? Like having companies yeah. go paperless, They're like paperless. How can we not, how can we ever do business doing paperless? And now it's just like, how can we do business not being at the office? That doesn't mean make sense, but it's just a shift. That's all, all it is. Like we're still humans. We still interact. We still have conversations. It's just not at the office. It's now on a thing called Zoom, right? It's like the Jetsons happen really fast versus versus old technology. And so that's that's the big changes that are happening. And, and uh, it's great because as Tony Robbins says, at the end of the day, you know, life happens for us, not to us. Yeah, for sure. And sometimes we have to be forced to make those changes but I, 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 I kid because I think and I feel some of the people that are making these big shifts having layoffs, right? Quit up, uh, uh, getting fired from their job. And even though it's like, dang, this sucks, I think there's a little bit in the back of their minds that's probably like, you know what? I've been wanting to quit for the last year. I'm glad I'm out of that place. Yeah. Now there's a new opportunity. They're being forced into new opportunities to see what else is out there. And there's companies that are hiring frantically right now because of the workforce that's available. I mean, it's easy to finally hire people. Just a couple months ago, it was super hard yeah. to find quality people willing to work. And now, well, there's a lot of people that need work. So yeah. changes are good. Changes are good. For sure. So uh, let, I want to talk a little bit about um, the person who maybe has been negatively impacted by this. Because I think one of the things that I get accused of a lot is being heartless because I pe teach personal responsibility and that, hey, you know, if you don't, if you're not prepared for this, well, it's going to suck for you and tough luck, right? Type, you know, kind of, kind of some tough love there um, because that was how I was taught growing up. And that's how I lived my whole life growing up. It was this whole concept of, hey, like, it's not the government's job to take care of you. It's not anybody else's job to take care of you. Like, take care of yourself and, and be prepared. And if times get tough, like, show up and go to work even more. So for, for the people out there that um, are negatively impacted by this or are not in a position like you are or like I am to really capitalize on this well, that are starting from ground zero here. This whole online world is a completely new business to them. What can they do to capitalize on this or where should they be putting their focus and energy to start learning about how to capitalize on something like this? Mm, man, you know... Uh there's some great spots. There's great, there's a ton of opportunity right now uh, to become online. Like online's growing so fast within the last two weeks, just because everybody's at home, you know, they're bored and they don't want to uh, be here. You know, the easiest way to get started online is uh, in my, in my belief is Facebook marketplace. Really? So selling, hmm. selling goods through, through the Facebook marketplace. Like right now you got time to clean out your house. You got time to see, you know, what's some stuff that trash in your words uh, would be that, you know, I can get rid of and someone else's treasure. And that's, that's making money online. Like that's kind of like the first steps of kind of what that feels like to interact with a customer through the internet is uh, as I feel the Facebook marketplace, that gets you a good idea of like, wow, there's, there's people out there that are willing to buy products and, you know, leave it out, leave it out on the, on the front porch. So you guys don't have to change, you know, touch each other Right, right. <laughs> and leave cash in the mailbox or Venmo me. Now there's Venmo. Hey, when you pick it up, just Venmo this account. And it's just an easy way to kind of get the feel of not having to go and buy products, not have to go buy inventory. You already have inventory in your house that you're ready to get rid of. Maybe it's some books, maybe it's a poster, maybe it's a bike. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, and get some extra cash coming in. And then that gives you the idea of like, okay, that's pretty seamless. That works pretty well. I see how the transition happens with still communication and people coming to your front door. Now let's take it to the next step, which is selling a product in, you know, nationwide, right? I'm in Missouri. I'm selling to you or someone else who's in Florida or California. How does that work? That's the next kind of step. And I, I'm a big believer in a database of, of people, of prospects that surround you within the niche that you love so a passion if you will something that you're just considerably passionate about where like if you could get paid to do one thing the rest of your life what would that be and usually people you know have that answer pretty quickly like man if i could sit on the beach and get paid to sit on the beach the rest of my life that'd be greater man if i got paid to read books for the rest of my life that'd be awesome if i got like for me if i got paid to go and hack funnels uh, every single month and like, you know, study them and, and become educated from them and get paid to do that. That would just be 
amazing, right? That I, that would be an all. Like I don't have to be an insurance agent anymore. I don't have to be a mortgage officer. I don't have to go and uh, you know peck at a keyboard at an office every single day because now I'm living my passion and getting paid uh, through it. And I'll give you an example of of two of those that I just mentioned because those are realities. Those are actually in effect right now. The first one is a good good guy. His name's Brian Johnson. You know about him? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I do actually. You're a subscriber or no? No, I'm not. But I know I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so Brian Brian gets paid ten dollars a month uh, from me and I believe forty thousand other people. Uh, ten dollars a month, so that's four hundred grand for those guys, math wizards out there. Four hundred grand a month, so that's four point eight million a year that he gets paid. And what he does is he reads a business book and then he uh, he puts cliff notes up. It's about a six page cliff note, but good for him. He actually calls them philosopher notes. Hmm. And I was like, dang. This guy reads a book a week, gets paid 400 grand uh, or 100 grand, if you think about it, a book to go and read. Like I would, I would be totally okay with somebody yeah. <laughs> to go read a book and then tell you how I thought, you know, what, what I thought about it. Like that's what he's built. And so I was like, well, that's his passion. I'm not a really massive, passionable person who, um, you know, is, is going to go read, but I love hacking funnels. So I got the idea from Brian. I was like, man, if people are willing to pay me to go hack these funnels, that'd be kind of cool. So we started the uh, face, or we started the uh, masterclass, which I go out and I am doing this anyways. I'm recording videos on how I go through funnels. I go through the order form, downsell, upsells, and then I put them in a, a members area. I'm like, hey, if you want this for ten bucks a month, I'm going out and hacking these. I'm spending three to five hundred bucks a, a month on hacking these funnels. If you want access to them and get to see kind of what I'm seeing and kind of get my uh, narrator narration over it, by all means. And so it took us about, I mean, I've never really launched it funny enough, but I, I believe we have like around a thousand people wow. paying us 10 bucks, 10 bucks a month right now. And that's, that's 10 grand a month that people are paying me to go in and hack these funnels. And tw in 12 months, that's what, $120,000 uh, income yeah. that I receive for doing something that I was already doing and I enjoy to do, right? Yeah. It's my passion. Yeah. So for those people to get kind of full circle now, for the people that are looking to do something different, this is the best opportunity for you because um, you can't see I got whiteboards, whiteboards all the way down my wall over here. And for someone who's starting out and they're just like staring at a blank whiteboard, that's the best spot you can be at because you have limit, like an infinite, right? Of infinite possibilities that are gonna come through the whiteboard that are presented to you as something that you can start today and go and do yeah. versus having a business, right? Having a 50 person company and being like, ah, oh, we can make shifts, but I don't really want to go start something new. The people who have jobs or got laid off or anything like that, and they're just kind of wondering what, what I do next. You have infinite possibilities, infinite possibilities. Grab a whiteboard, start drawing out what's your passion, what do you love to do, and go do that.